What's up everyone, it's Adam from Life of Adam, Team back with a brand new lifeguard video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what do you do when you fail the lifeguard course in 2024. Obviously, I don't want any of you guys to experience this. I have a bunch of videos on my channel about how to pass the pre-test, how to pass the written exam, how to pass the rescue test. So if you watch those videos and you study, you should be good to go. However, things happen, maybe you get tired, maybe you accidentally get like a foot cramp, you have to touch the wall and you have to stop swimming. You answer a couple questions wrong on the final exam. Things happen, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what you should do next. Now, let's say you fail the pre-test in the very beginning. Most instructors are very reasonable. They know that you spent anywhere from like two to $500 to sign up for the course. So if you're someone who just barely failed it, let's say you were like one or two laps short, they're most likely gonna give you another chance or maybe you're treading and you accidentally like put your chin underwater for too long or your hands go underneath the water and you touch the side or the bottom of the pool. They realize that, listen, this person is very close to passing. They spent a lot of money. Let's give them another chance. Now this opportunity can take place in a couple days from now or it could be with another class when they take the swimming pretest. So they walk you through your options, but just know that a lot of instructors are very reasonable. Now saying this, I don't want you guys to rely on this. I don't want you to go in thinking to yourself, I don't need to practice that much because even though if I don't pass it on my first try, I have another shot at it because there are those instructors out there that are exactly by the book and they say, listen, if you want another shot at being a lifeguard, you have to repay the fee to sign up. I would not recommend doing that in like the immediate future and like just putting it right down and trying again. So don't, you don't want to be in that situation. You want to focus, you want to practice. And if something happens, just know that you might have some type of backup. Now, the same thing applies with the final exam. You need an 80% or higher to pass. So let's say there's a couple of trick questions and like you just guess wrong and you forget some acronyms and you don't reach that 80% mark, you will have another chance to take the written exam because you took the entire course, you did all the swimming, you did all the rescues. It's just a matter of understanding and having the knowledge stick in your brain. So they will give you another shot to take it. However, even though you get a lifeline, you have to make the most of it. If you fail it twice, it gets really dicey. So I'm not super familiar with what happens if you fail twice in a row. All I know is that if you don't fail it the first time, 99% of these lifeguard classes will give you another chance at it in a couple days, or maybe like next week, or like I said earlier, maybe you'll do it with a different class, but you just wanna make sure you get it down so you're not in the situation. I really wanna reiterate that. Now lastly, with the CPR and AED, let's say you're doing the mock test and you just fail the mock test, you don't count properly, you don't know how to check for pulse and breathing, your compressions are like way off, You're not your hands aren't in the right spot, and let's say your, your hands are not interlocked and you're putting too much pressure on an infant like there's a lot of reasons why you might not pass it but let's say you don't pass they're a lot more relaxed and when it comes to that they'll have you redo it at a different time most likely like the next day or two uh, it's not like a strict type thing where like it's the 80 percent mark in a final written exam so those kind of mock exams when it comes to the rescues and the cpr and using the aed the most likely give you another shot like very soon like tomorrow or the next day whereas the other things you might have to retest like a week from now or two weeks so hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. Comment down below if you have any questions, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much, peace out.